Well, hello filmmakers. This is Carrie with Filmmaker Central, and we're going to take a look at something kind of cool that uh, there's a long story behind it, but we're going to add drop shadows to fusion titles. So stay right there. We'll be right back. So little story here, the new fusion titles that are in Resolve 17 are pretty cool. And I use them all the time. I really like them. They did a really good job on creating some really nice, clean uh, titles. And because they're in Fusion, that gives you a lot of power and flexibility in what you can do with them. But some of them are just a little, I guess, the bland. You know, they're, they're good, they're solid, they're clean, but they could use a little something once in a while. And maybe that's something like a drop shadow which would be a really cool thing to do on some of them. So, guy that I know, Fred Stork, creates this plugin to put drop shadows on the plugins. Really cool. And I'm like, yeah, that's great. I really like what you did. I, I'll, I'll probably do a video on that because I, I, I thought it was so cool. And I'm getting ready to do the video and he's like, whoa, whoa, wait. Did you know that you can just use the open effects effects on the existing titles. I'm like, you know, I didn't think about that, but because the titles are really just a fusion composition, you can do a lot to them. So we're gonna take a look at how they work, and I think you might find this kind of interesting. So let's take a look at the fusion titles and putting drop shadows on them, just as one example of some of the different things you can do. All right, so here I've got a basic clip and we're gonna to go to our titles. And let me clear this out here. Now, if you don't see this, this is under the effects panel. So here I've got my media pool open. I'm gonna reopen the effects panel. And here's all the titles. And these are the new fusion titles. And what's cool is you can drag over them and kind of see a little sample of what they do, which is neat. And uh, let's see, I think this one, this would be a good one to do. I, if you've noticed, I use this one quite a bit on my intros, but I'm gonna, I'll just grab this one right here and I'll drop it into place so we can see it. And I'll, I'll just leave the default text, but just so you can kind of see, we'll select it. There's the clean and simple, the top text and the bottom text. But the white on my gray shirt there just doesn't really stand out. So. What we're gonna do is go over to our open effects and we have all these different things that we can do here that can really help clean these up or make them pop or do something else. So I'm gonna to go to the search box and type in drop shadow and here's my resolve effects stylize. And I drop that on there and you can kind of see a little drop shadow behind there. But if we go to our effects here, here's our open effects effect that we added and we have shadow strength, drop angle, drop distance, blur, color, and global blend. So let's turn the blur down so we can kind of see what it's doing. And you can see it's got the drop shadow here that's pretty far away. And I'm going to take the drop distance. And if we want just a really clean, sharp drop shadow, we can do that. And all of a sudden that really stands out from the way it was before. We can add just a touch of blur to it. Oh, that looks really clean. And uh, we can do a little bit more, do it as much as you want. However, whatever floats your boat, or you can actually change the color. So let's make the drop shadow blue or red, you know, so you can have it match your scene a little bit better and make it stand out a little different on there. So some pretty cool stuff that you can do just with the open effects on the edit page. But remember, I did say that this was just a fusion composition. So if I have this selected and I come over to fusion, what we'll see here in just a second, as it opens up, one of my hard drives spun down. So it'll take just a moment for it to come back up here. Okay, well now we're in fusion and we see we have the clean and simple fusion piece here. And you can see this is stacked. That means this is a group. And it goes right to the media out, 
which gives us our output. If I double click on this, we can see the nodes that make up this title. So there we have it. We have the big text, the small text, a rectangle that has a couple of uh, masks on it to cut the edges off, colors, transforming, all the different things that are that make this up. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And now I'm going to hit shift space, which is going to bring up my tool selector. And I'm going to put in drop shadow, which is going to add it in line with all that. And we can see we just did the same thing. So I'll turn down the blur so you can see that the drop shadow is there, the drop distance, everything. So we eff effectively did the exact same thing that we did on the edit page. But because we're in Fusion, we have some more options. So I can go over here to settings and I can really play around with a few other things. I, it's easier to add a material to it, motion blur. If we're moving it around, we can do a few other things than we, than we could do in the edit page. So this is just one simple example of something you can do to the titles because they're fusion compositions, giving you a lot of flexibility in modifying the titles to be what you want, having a default drop, drop shadow on this, save this as another fusion title so that it's your own customized version of it, even make it a macro so that you could change the color in the edit page. You have a lot of things that you can do with this level of functionality because they made these just standalone fusion compositions. So it's also good as learning tools. You can open these up and see how they did something and actually learn from it, which I think is super, super cool. So this isn't a long video, but I hope it was educational to see what these fusion titles were all about and what you could do with them to enhance them even further than the way they come out of the box. So thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. Really appreciate all the likes, the shares, the comments, the feedback, the suggestions for different videos. Keep it up. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I try and respond to all the comments as quickly as I can. But again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.